guys. Beautiful, lovely people. Okay, so I used to do a lot of journaling back in the day. I'm talking like obsessed, like I was obsessed. I'd buy tons of journals and a lot of them I wouldn't write in in fear of just messing them up. I know a lot of people can relate to that where they buy tons of journals and they don't write in them. I'm hoping this isn't the case, but I was very, very much motivated and inspired to journal again by watching Pink Sparkles. At, um, I did get quite a few journals just for the fact of, I feel like I'm gonna become so obsessed with it, like I'm gonna fill up journals really quickly, which I don't mind. So I did get quite a few. I got this one, which the pages just look like this. The inside, I didn't even notice the inside till now. That shows how much I pay attention. <laughs> really, you can get any journal you want. These are the same brand. I have no idea which one I will be using first. But I guess we will see. And again, journaling is about what you want to write, what you want to share. You don't have to share your journal with anyone. And then I got just some regular ones like this. I loved these. I was like, okay. That's what it looks like on the inside. Why do I feel the need to show you the inside? I don't know. I just thought these were super cute. And these weren't too bad. The um, four journals I showed you beforehand were $6. And these were like... Four, so that's not that expensive at all. Hey guys, so as most of you know, I really love to write, whether it be short stories or journaling or poetry. So I wanted to share with you some of my writing. I don't know if I'm gonna read you some of my writing, but I wanna show you the kinds of things that I write and what kind of journals I have. And I know a lot of you like ask me, Amberlynn, do you still journal? Like, what do you journal about and stuff? So I think this will be super fun. Okay, so my first one is this one. This is my most favorite. I think the cats chewed on this. Of course they did. Um, this is my most favorite journal that I have. This was my most expensive journal. It was about $60 and I got it a couple years ago. I also get journals that already are like ready for you to just write in. This one's called Sketch This. Actually, this is one of my Christmas presents. Then I recently got this one. This is the Secret Me. It's a questionnaire journal where it just, you know, asks you questions. I'll show you a blank, blank one that I haven't filled out yet. Um, there's a tons of yes or no questions. There is, um, where is it? Lists, like name things you'd give a child. Um, things your family taught you to appreciate, etc., etc. So this is another one that I like, 300 writing prompts. I got this from Target. I've only written in it once. Um, and the question was, what is your favorite way to spend a lazy day? And it was actually on April 10th, 2016, because I wrote the date right here. But some of the quote, I love this. Honestly, I fucking love this. This is one of my favorites. Um, see, it's just tons of questions and places for you to write them. So I'm going to be showing you, I got these planners a few weeks ago. And I was hesitant on like sharing them because I I know how people are. People, you know, say that I'm a hoarder and I judge. Why do I need planners, etc., etc. So, you know, I'm just going to live my life. And I don't want to be scared of showing you guys certain things and things that I'm passionate about. First planner I got is this one. It says, throw powder around like confetti. Look how freaking cute. Sorry for the glare, but I mean, you guys pretty much get the gist. So, this one is for my, it's going to be like a daily tracker. Every day I'm going to write what I'm grateful for. And then there's going to be like a prompt that I do inside of it. Then we have this one. It's black with a bunch of little cute things on it. Like, literally. That's the gist. So, I'm going to be using this one. I wrote, um on the side, like what they're gonna be used for so I wouldn't forget since I am gonna be starting to use these January 1st. So this one is, every day I'm gonna track what's my prominent mood or emotion for that day because I really wanna be in tune 
with how I feel and my body. But this is gonna be a memory diary. So this one, out throughout the whole thing is like rainbow and it says get busy babe so this one is for YouTube scheduling videos video ideas YouTube notes um, Instagram stuff snapchat stuff just like social media stuff in general so this is my social media planner this one says always choose happy this is so cute I love it so this planner is about my goals so I'm gonna be doing weekly goals daily goals monthly goals yearly goals and i'm just gonna track them in here which i'm super excited for because there's a lot of things that i want to accomplish in the year of 2020 and honestly i am just thoroughly excited this one says 2020 this is your year this one is strictly for budgeting appointments like bills just everything like that like this is the planner that I'm going to be using as like a normal planner. So that's what this one's for. Last one is the most important one. This one says new year, new feels, new chances, same dreams, fresh starts. So this one is what I'm going to be using for my weight loss. I'm going to be writing my grocery list in there, my weight every day, how many steps I take, meal prep. I'm going to be writing my meals in there, just like anything weight loss related i'm going to be putting in that planner so i'm going to be using six planners and i know you guys think that's crazy but there are people who use like upwards to 20. i don't know how they do that 